to the end of week four of 75 hard um it's been a bit of a funny week because uh we're in the uk and the queen has passed away we now have a new king it's been a funny old week um it's been quite somber we live in a seaside town so uh everybody's flags are flying at half mast um literally just watch uh the king's speech his first speech so um but the challenge resumes um this morning i did 5k run followed by legs so tomorrow i anticipate walking might be slightly difficult and that was workout one workout two is walking the dog and we've had torrential rain today which i was lucky enough to miss but that means that the kids are out with me and uh, riding their bikes through the puddles and get out, getting absolutely minging. So um, they're enjoying themselves. That's all that matters. So yeah, just thought I'd keep you up to date with what's going on. Um, other than that, nothing major's going, been going on this week. Um, stuck to the plan. Just found out I came third in a challenge that I was doing online. There was a huge private group of people um doing this challenge online and uh, i came third which i was really pleased about um i'll pop the pictures up online actually on this on the screen of the results i've had whilst been doing it from july until now it's quite a noticeable difference and i think 75 hard has had a part to play in that like i say it's not a physical but a mental challenge but obviously physical changes are going to happen when you're working out twice a day and eating clean so I'll pop the pictures up and see what you think. Hello, it is a Saturday morning, literally out walking the dog. Um, I tend to like doing walks in the woods um, with the doggo on a Saturday. You're just uh, loving life, sniffing everything and uh, it's just safer for me to walk him off lead. Um, just because there's no cars this is a bridal way so we just come across other people and horses and uh he sniffs a lot and he pees on everything because he's boy dog so it's just nicer and more relaxing for me if i let him off lead and he can just do what he wants and i can walk so this is uh workout one of two I'm not sure what i'm going to do later um i might do a bike session again today this evening um we're popping popping back to London today for a little while just to see some family so uh, just getting this walk done now because the dog doesn't particularly like being in the car much so at least if he's a little bit tired he might sleep so uh, other than that feeling good um, yeah not really much to update you on as of yet um, might cover some of what I'm eating over the weekend Last night, um, as part of my plan and within my macros, I enjoyed a burger, which was quite nice because um, it felt like a treat, even though it was within my macros and calories, um, which is always important, I think, when you're on a calorie deficit and when you're following a diet, it is good to have things that feel like treats. Um, and my dessert was actually a mixture of fruit with a tiny bit of honey and some live set natural yogurt which is good for gut health but it also was a sweet treat so that felt good so yeah just gonna carry on my walk and uh i'll catch up with you a bit later on
walk for my second uh, workout today just because I'm feeling a bit ropey actually today. He was saying how good I was feeling. I'm feeling a bit rough this evening. Um, even to the point where I literally just had a bowl of cereal for dinner because I just wasn't feeling it. Um, which is unusual. I'll probably try and get some protein in later on today. I don't know, some eggs or something. But uh, yeah, this evening I just wanted a light meal and uh, just to chill out Saturday night. So we're going to chill out with the kids and my other half in front of the telly. But yeah, not feeling 100% this evening. So I thought I'm not going to go all out and do um, a full blown workout in terms of on the bike or a strength training session just because. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, if I feel like this, it can sometimes be leading to being symptomatic with POTS, so I choose a sensible option. And tonight, that sens sensible option is going for another walk. But the sunsets are always nice here, so uh, it's enjoyable, and it is getting my second bike out in. So it's all good. the gym I did a back and shoulders workout today um, started off my day I actually fancied toast this morning normally I have some sort of protein oats but today I just really fancy toast I wasn't that hungry um, I did have my usual protein coffee though so I had my source of protein this morning um, and now I'm just gonna go about making my post workout shake um, I've literally um, just waiting for my protein to arrive actually so I just grabbed a quick one from the shop at the moment um, I'm not a massive fan of getting the pre-made ones because they tend to be higher in sugar than the ones that I typically buy but you know uh, needs must I need to refuel my muscles so I'm gonna mix one of these and um, this is the grenade uh, fudge brownie it's really nice if you haven't tried it and then um, this that I get online um it's uh to top up your glycogen stores so i have this post workout um literally half a scoop so one of these lasts ages um it's got vitamins a c d in it um b12 calcium magnesium zinc selenium copper like there's potassium loads of good stuff in here um, so for me, it says females pre-workout use a quarter of a scoop with half a scoop of um, protein mix or post-workout half a scoop of this with one scoop of protein mix. Um, this stuff supports muscle growth, restores glycogen levels, decreases recovery time. Um, not sponsored by these, not paid, paid by them. Um, it's just something that I take um, which has helped with muscle recovery um so i'm gonna mix that up and i'm also gonna add your balance on top of my coffee machine some coffee in and then it makes it taste a little bit like a mocha um so it's chocolate fudge brownie with the coffee um it just makes it taste a little bit like a mocha with some ice and some of the ignition and that is going to be my post workout shake
in terms of um, telling you how I felt. Um, so I think I said to you we'd been and gone to London. Um, had felt a bit rough actually towards the end of the day. I think there was just a lot going on. Um, and I've just had some really terrible cramps today. Um, I'm not really sure why, um, but as some of you may have seen in previous videos that they suspect I have endometriosis and um, I've been really bloated. Had some real bad cramps on Sunday, uh, well, today Sunday. Um, and I think maybe yesterday me feeling rough was the lead up to that. Um, for any of you who have POTS and are watching this and also suffer from endometriosis, like I've said before, um, I'm always trying to learn about new stuff. Um, so comment below if you've experienced that or uh, I'll, um, my Instagram handle's at the end. If you'd rather message me privately, then you can do that as well. Um, so yeah, all in all fine. I don't know if the, show, uh, the scales have shifted yet because I weigh in on Wednesday. So I'll be able to tell you in week five whether I've seen any difference. Um, but yeah, overall, apart from feeling rough towards the end of the week, everything was fine. As I said before, it's been a bit of an odd week here. There's been a lot of news footage um, about the Queen, the new King. So that's what's been going on here. Work's been busy as ever. And you may or may not know that I've been um, training to finish my personal training course. And I'm so very close now. So uh, it's literally within touching distance. So I'll keep you posted on that because I'm super excited about that journey and helping other people, which is what the aim of this video is, um, on this YouTube channel, I should say, um, to help other people that either have the same condition as me or that just have maybe certain health issues. And even if you grab the slightest tip, whether it be nutritional or movement from my videos, um, then that's a positive to me because I just really want to help people as much as I can. So as you can see, I'm on another walk. There's a bit of a pattern here. I seem to do my videos when I'm out and about with the dog, but um, so yeah, hopefully um, you enjoyed this week's content. I'm trying to get a bit more creative. Um, thanks for your patience. This is all new to me, um, you know, doing videos and getting brave enough to put myself out there because I'm not really a um, very outgoing person. Um, I'm normally quite shy. But I really do am passionate about helping other people. And if my videos help people feel better or improve whatever they're going through, then that's a massive bonus. So um, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please feel free to message me. And if you do suffer from POTS and there is anything in particular that you would like me to cover about my journey, or maybe you would like to see some workout videos um, that would help you in the beginning of your journey, let me know. And I will schedule that in um, with everything I'm doing. So I'm going to finish my dog walk and I will see you at the end of week five.